Agatha Christie's play The Mousetrap have been partying with actors who've played the same roles over the last half a century. When the first cast went on stage in 1952, Britain was a very different place. London mourned the death of King George VI and greeted the succession of Queen Elizabeth. Wartime rationing was still in force. Shoppers still had to wait two years before they could throw away their coupons. Also that year, the invention of the contraceptive pill would provide a catalyst for the age of free love in the decade. Last night's gala marked the start of a year of celebrations in the run-up to the play's 50th anniversary. It has spanned 10 American presidents and 10 British prime ministers and is as much a British institution as Big Ben and the Tower of London. But what is it about Agatha Christie's Who Done It that has it celebrating its golden anniversary? Then of course, there's your husband. Giles? Oh, don't be ridiculous! How much do you know about your husband, Mrs. Ralston? <laughs> the Mousetrap has had 324 different actors and actresses in its cast of eight. David Turner has been directing for the last 14 years. What do you think is the enduring quality of the play? Yeah, I think it has universal appeal. I suppose you could term it as a whacking good yarn, and it is. You can bring a seven-year-old, you can bring a 77-year-old, and everybody in between, and they'll all enjoy it. When the play first opened, Richard Attenborough and Sheila Sim were two of its stars. Last night, Lord and Lady Attenborough were back to celebrate the start of the play's 50th anniversary. Instead of an array of stars, they played host to children from Greater London schools. It must bring back some fond memories coming back here. Fond memories? My gosh, I can't even think that far back. 50 years, you know. It's a long time, isn't it? It certainly and we is. We never thought it would. We never, never, never thought it would. would for more than a few months. Why, Giles wasn't even in London yesterday when the murder took place. Well, where was he? You know, some people think of it as being an old-fashioned play, and it is an old-fashioned play, but it's actually about drug abuse and child abuse. Now, that's pretty 2001, isn't it? How long do you think the play will last in the West End? People asked me that 10 years ago when we were 40 years old, and I said, you know, I think we shall make the 50 years, and I think we now talk about making a diamond jubilee in 60 years. There's no earthly reason why it should ever close as long as an audience wants to come and see it. I mean, we're not keeping it on for the sake of keeping it on, and we're not keeping it on to break any records because we've broken them all. Um, it's just that it'll be here as long as people want to come and see it. Brenda Manus at The Mousetrap.